you feel me? All right, we're gonna demonstrate catheter care for the patient. All right. Good afternoon, Mrs. Jones. My name is Dante, and I'm gonna be your CNA today. The reason why I'm here is to uh, provide some catheter care. Uh, how does that sound? It's good to you? All right, that sounds like a great idea to me too. What I'm gonna do real quick is gonna go, I'm gonna wash my hands and I'm gonna gather my supplies. I wanna verify it is you, Mrs. Jones. I can see that your wristband says it is you. So now I'm just gonna go to the bathroom, wash those hands, and I'm gonna gather my supplies. My supplies are gonna be two sets of gloves. I'm gonna have a barrier, a bath blanket, under chuck for the patient, a waterproof chuck, an extra towel with three washcloths, basin and soap. I'm gonna come over to the, ba the patient's uh, bedside table and I'm gonna place my barrier down so that way I can place my supplies on a clean surface. Once that is down, I'm now going to get my supplies. And put my soap and dump the rest of my supplies. For this one here, I do want to embellish that I'm going to maintain at some point a clean and dirty side. All right? But before I get started, Mrs. Jones, I see that your bed is still at its lowest position. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get water while you're in a safe position, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and close your privacy curtains. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and I'm gonna get the water for the basin. I'm gonna check the temperature of the water with my elbow or wrist. And now I'm gonna come back to the patient's quarters. I'm gonna ask Mrs. Jones, can you check the water for me and verify it's good? It feels good? All right, wonderful. So now I'm gonna place my basin on my bedside table. I'm gonna get the remote control to the bed. I'm gonna raise it to waist level. I'm gonna place the patient flat on her back. Looks like she's already flat on her back. Now we can get started. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get my bath blanket. I'll start with this and I'll place my bath blanket or Miss Jones without snapping or whipping it. Let's go ahead and open the blanket. So I'm gonna ask you to pinch that, that top corner there so I can go ahead and remove or just lower your personal blanket. We don't wanna get this dirty. I'll bring this down to about her knees. So now that's rolled down to about her knees. I'm gonna get this here and I'm gonna roll this in a rolling position, like rolling, so I can stop right at her knees. So she's still covered, okay? At this point, I'm going to get my first set of gloves. My first set of gloves have been donned and I'm gonna get my washcloths. I have three washcloths. Two of them I'm gonna put in the water. One of them I'll set aside. I'm gonna get my chuck. I'm going to roll towards me. And then I'm gonna ask the patient to bend her knees so I can roll this chuck underneath the patient. patient is now lying on the waterproof chuck. This gives me the opportunity also to take a look at the catheter. I can now at this point make sure that the catheter is in place, the catheter is not kinked, or the patient's not lying on it. I'm also gonna make sure that on the side of the bed, cover her up real quick. I'm still wearing my gloves. I'm gonna make sure that the catheter is mounted to a non-movable part of the bed, okay? I can see that it's not, it's anchored and it's not connected to the other frame or the bed rail or anything like that. Non-movable part. All right, let me uh, go ahead and expose the area I'm gonna work on. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up. 
I'm also going to unstrap the catheter and I'm going to get my towel. This is just a little, it's like a splash guard. So with this towel, it's just so that way I don't get her wet and it just further covers uh, her legs for warmth and privacy. Okay. Now I'm going to get my first washcloth. Got my first washcloth. I'm going to get soap and apply that to my washcloth and I'm going to get it, build a good lather on my washcloth. So now I'm going to go ahead and expose. I'm going to go ahead and roll the, uh, the gown underneath the blanket, the bath blanket. So that way the gown doesn't get wet either. Okay. This is where I'm going to pinch the catheter at the meatus. This is just inserted here because it doesn't go into this meatus. This meatus it does, is not intended for a catheter, but I'm going to, to act as though I'm pinching at that meatus site. I'm going to secure that. I'm going to anchor my feet there because if I don't do this, well, imagine that this slaps back. So I'm going to, I don't want to pull that out of the patient, okay? This is why you must pinch the site of the meatus. So clean side, four inches. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this so I have another clean side. I'm gonna go to four inches, pulling away from the cath pulling away from the meatus in one direction. Three times the charm. Now this is soiled. I'm gonna place this into its dirty side of the my bin. I'm gonna get my clean washcloth. This has got water. I rinse the water excess off of it. What we wash, we, we rinse. So now I'm going to hold or pinch at the meatus again. Bring this down about four inches. And again, about four inches. Total about three times. Clean surface each time. Four inches. This is now soiled. So I'm going to put this in its soiled side. Now I'm going to dry the patient. Dry. Go one. Two and three. Now, patient's ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is remove some of these articles, okay? I'm gonna remove my little towel here, place this on the soiled side. I'm gonna go ahead and anchor the leg strap. When I anchor it, I wanna make sure that this little bifurcation, where it bifurcates on the catheter, that that side is up because what happens if this is strapped where it's like this, this can pull and it can tug at the catheter. So this is why I'm gonna place this little bifurcation right over that little area so that way it stays in place. All right, now I'm gonna recheck, everything's good. I'm going to ask the patient, I'm, well, first I'm gonna cover the patient. So when I roll this down, the, the gown, is I'm gonna make sure the gown is also covering the patient so the patient's warm and private, the privacy is maintained. I'm gonna start rolling this, the under chuck. Can I ask you to bend your knees and lift your buttocks? So I'm gonna roll this away. So from this other side of the patient, I can now just go ahead and roll this. I don't wanna pull this underneath the patient and shear, okay? So this one, I'm rolling it away from me. Okay, you can now relax, lie on her back. This is gonna go into its soiled or dirty area. In this case, it's a disposable chuck. So this is gonna go into the trash can. This is the trash side of the hamper. And I have a soiled side of the hamper. I can pretend that these are in the trash. All right, so now I come back to the patient. I'm gonna apply the blanket back on the patient, but I have some soiled hands. I'm gonna remove my gloves. These are also gonna go into the trash bin. I'm now going to cover the patient. Cover the patient. In, in, a, in, a, in a rolling ball technique, I'm gonna roll this in one direction and start rolling all these in one direction underneath the blanket though, okay? So I'm rolling the bath blanket into a ball under the blanket so that way when I pull this out from underneath, it's in a ball, so that way it won't come in contact with my scrubs. So now I'm gonna take this and put this into its soiled linen container, the hamper. 
I'll come back to the patient. I'm gonna make sure I get their remote control. Lower the bed to its lowest position. Make sure their call light is in reach. If you need anything, Mrs. Jones, you make sure to alert me, okay? But I won't be gone long. I'm just gonna to go to the bathroom so I can discard some of your some of the uh, the contents that I cleaned you up, okay? So I'll be right back. At this point, I will get my second pair of gloves and don my second pair of gloves. I'm gonna get my soap, place this into its designated area. I will get my linens, place this into the soiled hamper container. And same thing with my barrier into its soiled linen container. Now I can take this to the bathroom. Now this is soiled because it's come in contact with the perineal area. So this would not go into the sink. This would go into the toilet, okay? So I will dump the contents into the toilet. I will get my paper towel. Remember these procedures, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna turn on the water with the paper towel, rinse this a couple times. And goes the contents go into the toilet. At this point, I will then turn off the water, paper towel in hand, throw that into the trash, get as many paper towels as I need to dry the basin. Throw it in the trash. This will then go into its designated area. Now, I will remove my gloves, states, sanitize his hands. I come back to the patient's room. Now I now I left the bathroom into the patient's room just to make sure that their bed is still at the lowest level so they're safe. Call lights in reach. Their head of the bed is adjusted to their comfort. I'm going to open up the curtain, confirm with the patient that if you need anything, let me know. Just reach for your call light. It's in reach and alert me, okay? All right, Mrs. Jones, have a great day. Uh, I'm going to then wash my hands, and the skill would be complete. Mm -hmm.